China unveiled its latest flying car. This is not science fiction, it's reality. And here's the game changer. With one push of a button, the aircraft detaches. You could fly it manually with a single hand or enter a destination here and let the drone fly itself. This car can fly for 25 minutes with a maximum speed of around 80 miles per hour. The air taxi is sure to captivate the world. China's low-altitude economy is taking off, with central authorities driving air traffic reforms and planning intelligent flight networks. Imagine this. You're stuck in rush hour traffic, barely moving, watching the minutes tick away. But instead of honking in frustration, you simply lift off and fly over the gridlock because your car isn't just an EV, it's a flying EV. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well... In China, it's becoming reality. Meet Xiaopeng Aero HT, China's leading flying car developer. They've been testing their electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL vehicle, and guess what? It actually works. A car that can drive on the road like a normal EV and then take off when needed. Talk about the next level of innovation. Land aircraft carrier, a six-wheeled vehicle equipped with a detachable electric vertical takeoff and landing the EVTOL aircraft. The EVTOL component resembling a helicopter is stored capacity within the vehicle and can be developed in approximately five minutes. The land aircraft carrier is slated for mass production in 2026 with a projected price below 300,000 US dollars. To date, it has received over 3,000 pre-orders primary from Chinese market. But Xiaopeng isn't alone. Other Chinese companies like Ihang and Autoflight are also making serious moves in urban air mobility, UAM. Ihang, another prominent Chinese company, specializes in autonomous aerial vehicles, AAVs. As of recent reports, the Ihang EH216 series AAV has conducted over 50,000 flights across 17 countries in Asia, Europe, North America, and Latin America. It boasts 16 propellers and can reach speeds up to 130 kilometers an hour or 81 miles per hour with a maximum range of 30 kilometers. Designed for autonomous flight, the Eang 216 is monitored from a centralized command and control center, minimalizing the need for human intervention during operations. Their goal? To make short-distance, low-altitude flights as common as taking a taxi. Imagine flying from your home to work in minutes instead of spending an hour in traffic. Of course, there are still challenges, safety regulations, air traffic management, and making these EVs affordable for the public. But China is pushing ahead fast, testing prototypes and planning real-world applications. So, will flying cars replace regular EVs anytime soon? Maybe not. But in China, the future of electric mobility isn't just on the roads, it's in the skies. And at that rate they're moving, we might be seeing EVs take off literally sooner than we think. I'm here with Aero HT. My name is Alex, and I'm here with VV. You're the designer of this yes. magnificent device. Let's go have a look and let's talk about it. No problem. So, what do we have here? So basically, this is our first production about the flying car. And our company, our job is to free to freedom to fly, right? So this is our first step. So basically, you can see this is a hybrid uh, like a vehicle that we can carry this thing, which you can see there, right? The flying kit. Wow. In the in look. the trunk. And then. Uh, our scenario is uh, once you have this car, we can go to like uh, you know somewhere outside the city or some flying camp, and then we go uh, drive to there and fly away like uh, about 20 minutes. Amazing! Yeah. So, are you telling me that this? What do we even call it? A helicopter, drone? What do we call it? Flying car? Yeah, no, we are calling it flying kit. Flying kit. Yes. So that is on the back of this. Yes. Wow. Can we see the back of this or is it, like, uh, is it possible? No, we can see like just uh, there. Okay, because, let's go have a look yes, here. Yes. Come with us, come with us. This is absolutely magnificent. Yes, you can see wow. here. Basically, we put a really huge thing in the, inside this trunk. 
and you can this see how much effort we did for this. This is a design masterpiece, huh? Yes. So everyone, just so you can see this, this here is that over there. Wow, okay, now I have some very interesting questions for you about this. The beautiful design here. Yeah. Look at the aesthetics on this. Is this, can we actually buy this in China right now? Yes, no, actually we are just open the pre-order. Pre-order, okay. Yes. We open the pre-order and we want to be fully production on the 2026, the first season. So 2026 is our target. Yes. These are the rotor engines? Yes, this is the rotor engines. We have six of them on six. each arm. Yes. Six rotor engines, propeller blades. Yes. Would this be now the front window or something like Basically, that? Yeah, this is the cabin area. Okay. So there are gonna be two people sitting inside and we have a two driving system. First, you can like fly automatically. Okay. If you like, for example, you just want to enjoy the view, right? Right. And you can automatically fly and then you just, I mean, do whatever you want. Okay, so let's talk about what powers this vehicle here. So our vehicle is basically a hybrid system. So okay. we have the gasoline, but also it's uh, electric. So we have two options. Yes. That's handy. Because, uh, because the main point is uh, our vehicle is not just a, a normal vehicle. We need to charge this blanket also. Right. So with the gasoline power, we can charge the, uh, we can charge the blanket like six times. That's great, huh? Yeah. That's All right. Well, that's, that's a design feature that is very interesting that we need to pay attention to in these vehicles as they innovate into the future. We have a 1,000 kilometers range. Wow. Yeah, so can I ask you, are you using, are you work the battery on this? Is it CATL? Yes. It is CATL. Yes, yes. Fantastic choice. Yes. I mean, what's exciting here is the collaboration between something that we thought was never possible. Yes. And it is, it's here right before us yes. now. This is the future in front of me. Tell me what your involvement was with this vehicle. Basically all the exterior design and about the vehicle and the flying kit. We are working on this. So you're the design team for it, huh? Yes. You're working with people. Does that door open or not yet? Not yet. No, not this yet. one cannot Still open. Still under yet. design. Yes. Got it. Okay, let's talk about this beautiful thing here. So what would be, what kind of person would buy this? So we are looking for the people that, uh, who want to explore the nature, you know, who want to go something different. It's not like uh, we go off-road, right? Off-road people, they can only stay on the road, to be honest. But what we want different is, uh, we want people to explore the air, you know. Right. Nice. So maybe somebody that might own a vineyard that, that might want to fly uh, yeah. a little bit deeper, or maybe somebody that has a heavy investment in agriculture. Yes. Uh, that has a large acreage. Yes. Or uh, it's just mind blowing where we can yes. go with this. Yes. Do we have a, uh, a price on what this unit might be costing? Yes. No, as we open the pre order, so the pre-order price is uh, under two million RMB. That's it. Yeah, that's it. With the drone, with the drone, flank it and the car. That is very affordable. Yes. And I guess as production goes more, as innovation goes more, maybe the price possibly could go down. Possible. Now, is there different types of? Is it just one model, or are you gonna scale it up? Maybe bigger batteries. I don't know. I don't know much yeah, about that. Yeah, this will release on the future plan in our of our company. Let's That's keep fine. walking around no this problem. device here, and look at it. So, how many pe how many people can sit inside this? Two people. So Two basically, people. you can see in the middle the, the joystick. If you can see uh, that right there, yes. you can come closer. Just uh, show the camera right in there. So the joystick will be the main control of this whole flying kit. Okay, all right. So amaz hey. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Now let's talk international market here. No problem. This is, have we got certification here in China on this thing? No, we are applying for the certification in China now. Okay. And uh, the government already take our paper and okay. it's working on it. For the international part, we are still working on this. We are very positive to, to I mean, push this to the international market. Of course, market, it's, right? it's a masterpiece of, yes. of design. Thanks. I mean, absolutely spectacular. Thanks. And the international market, we're mm. excited to maybe get the international market in something like this? Yeah, of course we have this plan, but uh, now the plan is uh, still a little bit secret and uh, we will release more information on our 
official website. We kind of talked about the price. Mm -hmm. We've talked about, uh, you know, what kind of other uh, things could this be used for? Maybe medical? Could it be used of in course. a medical it emergency? It could be like a medical emergency. Also the rescue, fire, fi firefighters, they could use this, right? And even just for sightseeing, you know, some ah. like a famous park, famous mountain, we can we can sell all of all of this to the to the parts and the the people the customer the viewer the visitors they can come and they just fly away for like 20 minutes that's right. a quite a long time to be honest in the sky what's the height of this how high can it go uh now we are limited in 300 meters that's still pretty high that's very pretty high three, yeah. tr three 300 meters is very high yeah now um Packaging in the car, so is that also battery powered? Yeah, that is a fully battery powered. So in the end here, you know, we are looking at a multi-purpose product that is not just about people having fun, yes, but also a product that people can take, whether it's owning a, a business, whether it's maybe even for a construction site. Of course. If yeah. you have, uh, you know, skyscraper buildings, maybe there's a rescue, maybe you just want to see the components. Yes. You don't have to go to complex. Beautiful, magnificent. Who came up with this idea? Good. Uh, our famous, uh, our talented uh, engineer. Wow, yes, extremely amazing. And do you have any other collaborations with other companies in China that help to build this prototype? Is there any no, other? No, as you know, we are still have the name of Xpong, right? So okay. basically, we are kind of a brother companies. We are separate, but we have the same boss. Terrific. And uh, so we want to, because Xpong Moto, they already like you're working in cars for many years, right. they have the experience. So that's why we want to build this car with the Expo Motors. So Got we, it. Because we want to, you know, come up with more reliable things. Right? Now, uh, let's just stand in front of this for our final part here. Yeah. Where are, where is this being manufactured right now? No, this manufacturer is in the Guangzhou, Guangzhou, Guangzhou. district. Wow. Yes. So okay. it's our company, it's our factory, and it's just uh, starting like this early of this month. Okay. And uh, yes. Terrific. Anything else that we missed? I think that's that's pretty we much got everything. It. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are having a look into the future here. This is something that I never actually thought was possible, but it is possible now here in China. And in fact, we may have some footage that we might show you later of this being in use. Anyway, my name is Alex for Western China International Communication Organization. I'm here with V. Thank you so much. Thank you. And your name of your company again is? My company is uh, Xpeng Aero HD. Xiaopeng Huitian. Yes. Terrific. Thank you for talking and showing us this magnificent piece of hardware. Thanks. All right. Great. Thank you. the Zhuhai International Air Show, the 15th annual. Now, this hall showcases the low altitude economy driven by man and unmanned low altitude flight activities like this here. It highlights an economic model that integrates related industries and features specialized unmanned aerial products, combining artificial intelligence with advanced unmanned technology. And now that we're at the show, we're going to walk around hall number eight to see what kind of interesting products I can show you here because I'm at the show so you don't have to be. Now while we're walking around, we will find some people to talk to us about these devices, but there are a lot of displays here that I have to show you along my journey here. This company is called Zurog Aircraft Industry. Right behind me here is the EVTOL multicolor. It looks it looks amazing. Anyway, it's 740 kilograms, has two seats, kilometer range 20 kilometers, cruising speed 75 kilometers, runs for about 20 minutes, takes about five minutes to uh, battery swap here, and that is pretty cool. You know, something interesting is I'm seeing a lot of collaborations of companies here, and a lot of people that I've talked to already use a company called CATL, a battery that is used and very trusted throughout China. 
Okay, something else caught my eye here. The TD550, you can see Rescue. That's right, Rescue on the side here. Let's move around to the front of this here and you can see how important this is to put out fires in very, very deadly areas. Just on their brochure, you can see a forest fire. Boy, this could have been used in the mountains years ago here in Chongqing. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, another item I saw here was the R6000. It's Lanying R6000 is a six ton tilt rotor aircraft independently developed by United Aircraft, combining vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. It's absolutely amazing, fast cruising altitude. If you see in the brochure, there are so many, many things that this can be used for, even including adding people inside.